you know the crazy thing is, they gon' talk about you when you ain't got shit. But then they gon' talk about you when you got shit. And see, they gon' talk even though they don't know what you had to do or what you go through. Sacrifices. Seeing your family scrambling, that sanity damaging. Gotta make a move, can't just stand and be manic can have a man who be managing, randomly standing in places he shouldn't. Trying to move that Pamela. What's up, guys? This is Dante Edwards from the Driver Force Clan. You just watch a a quick uh, go wipe right there um, from my from the guys in the clan. Um, especially what I want to take a look at is the Mass Dragon strategy. Um, you know, if you're a Town Hall seven or eight, uh, even nine, uh, you know, you have a trouble getting stars in the war. Um, one of the most effective strategies that you can use is the Mass Dragon. Um, it's very very expensive. Uh, <laughs> Definitely very expensive. I mean, you know, you're looking at about 300,000 300, uh, elixir, 300k elixir uh, per attack uh, at level two. Um, you know, level level three, you're looking at about 360,000 per attack. Um, basically, you know, this is for the guy who really wants to get the stars and get the wins for his his clan. I mean, depending on what level. Um, you know you're you're attacking that you know you can make that money back but i mean it's definitely very effective um and you know i would really recommend it you know for the guy who wants to win uh, and really doesn't have many effective troops um you know i think there's there's a lot of effective uh strategies out there that you can use uh that are cheaper um to get the you know the one or two star even three star effects but you know, using the mass dragon strategy, it's it's uh it's a, almost a more of a certain thing. Now the thing of it is, is that since the updates, it has become uh, apparent that you know dragons. You know, I don't know if it's from the update or just better base layout. Uh, guys are really doing a great job of uh, you know keeping uh, dragon, keeping their base from getting three star dragons. Um, you know that's really the purpose of the whole thing. You know you want to give up as uh, few stars as possible during the war. Um, but what we're going to take a look at is Town Hall 7, 8, and 9 Mass Dragon strategies. You're going to see some replays um, from a couple of the guys who did a good job. This one, as you can see, uh, we won this one. Uh, I ended up getting closer by the end. You know, um, but, uh, you know, if you take a look at the clan, I mean, um, you know, we've, we've really run off a nice streak. Um, so the first one I'm going to take a look at is Josh. Uh, he's a Town Hall 7. Uh, he's going to use uh, 10 dragons. Uh, he's going to use a hero, 3 lightning spells. And in this clan castle, he has 1 magic balloon and 1 level 3 dragon. And you're going to see how to use the 3 lightning spell effect, especially on Town Hall 7, how it's, it's an almost, you know, for certain uh, win. Uh, if you use this strategy, uh, the great thing about it is that uh, it's at Town Hall Seven, uh, uh, going against a Town Hall Seven base. Uh, there's only two air defenses, and if you're able to take out one before the, you know, before it even starts, I mean, you're just, I mean, it's almost a no-brainer where you're gonna win. Um, he also did you bring along? Excuse me, he didn't use ten dragons. I'm sorry, seven dragons and uh, three balloons. I don't know what the three balloons are for, but you know, it's still made out for a great replay, so let's check it out. And as you can see, the two air defenses right up there. And basically, what he's going to do is uh, drop the three lightning spells right on one of the air defenses. Now, definitely, you want to zoom in and try to drop them uh, squarely right on them, you know, so there's, you know, it's not dropping on anything else. You don't want to shed it, you know, it already shed the damage, but, you know, you want to get it right on top of it to make sure that you uh, you get that uh, air defense out the way. Uh, he has level one dragons, as you can see, um, and he's basically just deploying them. Now, he drops in his balloons here. He goes with the clan castle troops. Um, you know, those get ran out the way pretty quickly. Um, it doesn't matter where you drop uh, your dragons at this point because of the fact that 
he's you know the the base only has one uh, air defense, which can really um, try to protect it. I mean, you have the Archer Towers and the Wizard Towers, but I mean, they're no match for dragons. And you can see, I mean, he just really goes through and just eats this base up. Great job by Josh. Um, as you can see, I mean, he's still got, you know, nice amount of dragons left. And, you know, look at that balloon just um, chasing them. Great job there. Um, great 100% uh, three-star attack there. Uh, with your three lightning spheres, you can use that on, uh, I would say, it's Town Hall 7 and 8. Uh, eight's a little more tricky. Uh, eight is, you know, if you have maybe a couple of air defenses that are uh, rather, you know, rather close to the wall uh, that you can get to with your dragons, and maybe one is, you know, on the other end of the base. Um, you know, you can use that lightning spell to uh, use those lightning spells to destroy it. You need three lightning spells, ladies and gentlemen. Do not try to drop one or two and expect the air defense. To go down, you are only fooling yourself. Okay? Alright, so the next one uh, is actually uh, one of my replays. Um, for this battle, I actually did not have my uh, my hero. It was actually upgrading at the time. Uh, we'll take a look at the scout of the base first. And basically, uh, what I'm looking at here, this is a squared off base. Um, you know, pretty... Pretty nice looking base. I think this would probably hold up well if, if I probably, you know, if it's, you know, defending against um, uh, ground attacks or whatnot. But um, against the dragons, um, you know, it, I was surprised they kind of got through rather easily. Um, the main thing that I looked at was look how far spread out those air defenses are. Um, that's one big problem there. Um, you don't want to put it together. You do them in a triangulated um, fashion. But you you know you don't want that much space um, involved with them. Uh, also, uh, one of the biggest things if you're guard trying to guard against um, dragons, um, you want uh, as many of the storages um, close to your air defense as possible. Not right up on them, but you know close because uh, it takes dragons a while to um, to destroy um, gold elixir and the uh, dark elixir storages. They have a lot more hit points. Um, so basically when I looked at this, I said, oh, this is going to be great. Um, he does have the one elixir storage over here. I don't know what that was for. Um, there's nothing over here defending it. Um, he definitely should have put that uh, somewhere close to the air defense. This is, you know, a tactical flaw on his part. Um, but uh, basically what I'm going to do is start my attack down here um, in this area. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to drop a dragon over here. And basically what I'm, I'm expecting that dragon to do is, uh, along with another one, handle this side of the base. Um, and basically kind of corral, use it as a corral force for the rest of my dragon. And have him, you know, have those two dragons try to, uh, you know, take out as much on this side right here. Which is very important because if I have any of my dragons to the core, um, you know, floating out to this end. Also, on this end, since I don't have my hero, I'm going to also dra drop a dragon or two over here uh, to take out this side. And what my hope is, is that my dragons that I drop right here in this core line um, are going to actually go through this base here. And one of the biggest things about um, uh, running with heal spells or raid spells is that you want great placing. Um, what you're going to see is, uh, once I want to drop my, my raid spell, Obviously, when you know in a in a bunch of my dragons, so when they're cluttered up, that's when I want to drop it, um, and I want them, you know, I want to drop it in a way that you know they have room to move around, but still be in the range of that of that rate spell. So without further ado, we'll take a look at it. Um, and as you can see, I dropped my clan castle, which I I, I brought an extra dragon along for, and I'm just gonna let him eat this. Uh, Elixir storage up first uh, before I even start the, the the rest of my attack. Okay, once he does that, now I want to go to the other side and drop a dragon. So these two here are going to serve as the outside post. And what you're going to see is I'm going to drop the rest of my dragons right there in the core and let them eat up. I don't want to drop my rage spell quite yet. Uh, I want them to get in a nice range of um, 
got air defense. Now that they are, look, I'm, uh, you know, I raise them and let them go to work on those clan council troops. And as you can see, I mean, they're just going to really do a great job of just killing everything that's around that. Um, uh, so great job there. Now, now for the heel spill, right, uh, pretty much on top of the clan castle. This is the two air defenses right next next to the town hall, excuse me. Um, and that's going to help me, uh, you know, fight off some of those, some of the damage they're going to take right there. And also drop a heel, uh, excuse me, another raid spell, my last one, um, to clear out the rest of this. I want to get through as much of this base as possible, quickly as possible, so that uh, a lot of the defensive structures are gone and you know the only thing i have left are uh mines and you know other you know uh, structures like barracks and things of that nature once that is i mean it's an easy three star i mean it's nothing but clean up work for my dragons to do and we get a three star uh one of my first three stars in a while um, I give a lot of credit to uh, TT and some of the other guys. I, I actually kind of got tired of dragons for a while. Um, it's kind of repetitive. Um, I'm upgrading my troops at this uh, at this moment, really trying to get my gold wipe going. Um, I got my golems finally, and you know, um, a couple of days from my uh, my packer, so I can't wait to uh, get those guys up there so I can get those get some uh, some replays of those hopefully in the next couple of wars. But um, you know, I was really proud of my dragons. They stuck to the game plan. Great job. Um, so that was a Town Hall 8 battle there. Um, next, we're going to take a look at Town Hall 9 battle uh, by uh, Monster Field. Um, uh, he, he's doing a great job. Uh, basically, what he's going to rock with uh, in his is 11 dragons. Um, he's going to use 11 uh, level dragons. He has an Archer Queen as well as a Barbarian King. He's going to rock with uh, one Heal Spell, three Raid Spell. And in his Clan Castle, he has Hearts. Um, I, I would say there's nothing really... Um, when you're rocking with uh, uh, Mass Dragons, you want to keep in your Clan Castle either uh, another Dragon, uh, at least a level 3 Dragon, uh, or Hogs or Balloons. Those are the great ones. Hogs and Balloons. Uh, you want to use those, um, especially if you're using lightning spells, uh, the three lightning spell uh, strategy, or you know you have a, an air defense that's um, kind of vulnerable. It's in a it's in a bad spot uh, that you can send those hogs in that can uh, uh, get to easily and and kill them before your hogs or balloons get killed. Uh, other people uh, they're sending their dragons first and then um, you know bring the balloons behind them and actually go go at defensive structures that way you know there's really no wrong way of doing it yeah you know, everybody has their own preference um so let's take a look at phil uh the great thing i like about phil is you can see it's a sudden teaser base and once again uh you have a couple problems here first off is that your uh, air defenses are spread out a little bit too far i mean i, I think this you know I think for them it felt like a good idea. And it probably could have been. It's not for the simple fact that you are rocking with. Let's take a look. Level 4 air defense. Uh, I think that was a level 5. Level 4 and a level 4. Definitely not the type of air defense that you want to be uh, using. Um, going up against dragons. Uh, also, I mean, you could take a look at some of the structures. I mean, this is not the, uh, this is definitely a rushed base. Um, I would say, guys, if you're seriously in the clan wars, um, please do not rush your, your bases. I mean, you would just get eaten up. Um, everybody has their own preference. And let's play. Okay. And, of course, it's going to start in the north because... This is the most vulnerable spot in the whole thing, and you do not want to start the, at the south end, where your your dragons will be more spread. So obviously you want to put that there, and he wants to get in as close as possible, get his dragons in a bunch, and then drop those raid spells. So you see he gets them in. Now he's got them in a nice good bunch, and he drops the raid, two raid spells, and they're gonna get rid of those 
to air defenses quickly, and he's already on the town hall. Very bad uh, strategy there. He drops the heel and uh, the rage right on top of the town hall to both uh, protect as well as destroy um, the town hall and the structures around it rather quickly. Um, you'll see he's sending his uh, clan council troops, which are the hogs there, and they are working on that air defense, and they get that. So now he's down to one air defense against uh, three or four dragons. Um, and, of course, that's no, you know, really no competition. Also, notice how his heroes have gone around the base and taken out those outside structures, which helps out a lot. Um, you want to take out any outside obstacles um, to keep your dragons kind of in check and corralled. That's basically what you want to do. Your heroes, um, use your heroes, or if you don't have the Archer Queen, use an extra dragon on, on the outside to really keep your dragons corralled um, to the core of the base. That way they don't, you know, um, try to come on the outside and try to get outside defenses or structures, which can really, uh, you know, stop your raid um, in very badly. Great job, Phil. Um, you yeah, know, that was a, a couple of great attacks there. Uh, so, great job. Um, we'll take a look at, uh, we'll get one replay of the current war, which I really loved. Oh, my God, they're attacking again. I don't know who they're attacking. Let's see. Uh, they're going against Andrew. Let me that doesn't matter. I think we got a couple of couple of guys left who can take that out. Um, but let's take a look at TT, and I love TT's um, uh, TT's attacks. He he really goes mental. And you know, before the war started, and we we scouted this base. We've seen this base a lot. This is on YouTube a lot. I actually had this base one time, and. Uh, you know, I tried this out before a war, and I just got killed uh, by a guy. I guess he had, um, you know, seen this base before. Um, but uh, the the reason why we know this base well, like I said, I used it before. And as you can see, there's this air defense right here on the bottom. Um, now, there's a little bit of a variation um, because um, in the original base, uh, these two defensive structures here, this Archer Tower and this Cannon, uh, I don't believe are right there together. Um, but basically, TT is running to this base. Uh, the guy, basically what he did is he attacked from the bottom, destroyed um, the Archer Tower, and then um, destroyed the air defense rather quickly, which left me with two. And then he used lightning spells to destroy the rest. Um, so we definitely knew about this. Um, TT, you know, uh, one of the things that he, uh, what you're going to see him do is actually send his hogs in from this side here uh, to get rid of that. And he's going to use the lightning spell effect again to actually get rid of this air defense here, as well as the clan castle troops. Rather sick strategy. I want you guys to see it. Take a look at it. Tell me what you think. And we're going to do the replay. It was just rather funny to me. Um, so, as you can see, he brings in, uh, the hogs there, boom, okay, yeah, clan castle troops out, and he's gonna come in, and as you can see, they got rid of the hogs, this is the funny part about it, puts all these guys over here by the, by the air defense, drops the lightning spells on it, and destroys it. That's actually pretty sick. Uh, as you can see, got some, got some guys here. And little does these wizards know, and this Valkyrie, that they're about to get uh, burnt alive in a second. Uh, so now what he does is, uh, as you can see, brings dragons from the south here. To, uh, really get rid of that, and that's the kind of you know, the, the six air defense there. So, nothing really wrong with that. 
Um, as you can see from the bottom, and the day to see just, you know, I mean, you know, there wasn't really too much that could be done, you know, once you only have one air defense. Uh, very, very, definitely a very funny, but um, very good strategy on TT's part to really go at this. Uh, great job. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, you know. Um, I hope you guys are in, in some good clan battles. Hope to see you guys in the future. Thanks for watching. And uh, if ever you can check us out at drivingforcesclan.blogger.com. You know, thanks for visiting. You guys have